Ifasi Malafamu, defensive back from Syracuse University. I'm from Massachusetts, South Grafton, Massachusetts, very small town. Started playing football about seven years old, seven, eight years old. Um, biggest influences were definitely my, my brothers because they all played. Favorite player growing up? I was an offensive guy, so probably like Barry Sanders, I like Reggie Bush too. So family was very important for me. I come from a big family. I have three older brothers and a sister. We're all very athletic, very competitive, and we actually get it from my mom. It was just a very competitive household, and you know everything I did, my, my brothers wanted me to do better. Like if I got a PBU, it should have been a pick. If I got a pick, it should have been a pick six. So, so we were definitely uh, very competitive. Yeah, so when I was getting recruited, my top three were Syracuse, UConn, BC. BC was like a little too close to home for me. It was only 35 minutes. And at the time I wanted to kind of branch out and do my own thing. UConn, I didn't want to be in my brother's footsteps. So Syracuse was really the best option, but I also gelled with the coaches here. You know, my recruiting class, I was really close with all the guys here. Cause I wasn't really highly recruited like that. So I don't know if I was really a big name like coming in. I can remember when we went and played UConn our first year here. Now that was in 2016. And the night before we played UConn, if he had a home game, and I drove down and I watched him play and he was playing DB, he was playing receiver, he was playing Wildcat quarterback. And I'm just like, my gosh, he does everything, everything. And I remember leaving that night, getting back to the hotel the night before we played UConn, I was tired, man, but we felt so good because we knew we were getting a complete player in Iffy. And, and obviously, it really came to fruition this past year. She told me that she can't walk with me. I approached her like a thug. Plus, she probably looked up in my face and seen I'm full of drugs. If they tell me that I got one shot, I'm gonna go. I ain't going out like no. I ain't even no. Yeah, so, so this Carolina game, this was like my real, my real, like, Playing time, it was my first time really playing like the whole game. Um, I was like the third corner in rotation, but we didn't really sub. Chris Frederick actually ended up getting injured in like the second series of the first quarter. So I played the whole game. I was kind of nervous at first, but then I got like a PBU early and then I kind of got warmed up and ended up with four PBUs. I made like PFF team of the week and everything. And it was a close game, so I feel like what I did late in that game as well, like definitely helped us win because we went into overtime. I just feel like that that kind of got me comfortable in college football and I knew that I could play at a high level and play well. So it was definitely like a confidence boost for me. I feel like that, that 2018 season, uh, we had a lot of young guys play and I feel like at, literally everyone contributed and it was good playing with Cisco with Trill. I feel like we all just motivated each other, you know, being around the same age and, and being young and, and playing and having an impact. So I feel like we all fed off each other and we definitely like increased each other's playing. Yeah, I feel like Syracuse has definitely helped me going into new situations, coming to college. I was nervous, didn't really know what to expect. Coming from like a small town in Massachusetts, I didn't know if I could really like compete with guys like that. So, so Syracuse and just my process here has definitely helped me for the next step because it's not like I'm really nervous, I'm really excited about it and I know I can compete at the next level. He's my older brother, so obviously I look up to him. Literally being on the field, seeing the trophy, touching the trophy, just motivated me to, to make it to that next level and I want to just compete at the highest level. And growing up, I always envisioned myself going to the NFL as a running back. And now, now I'm here, I'm, I'm happy with my position obviously, but so it's kind of it's it's weird how like tables turn and I'm still going to the NFL, but it's not how I envisioned it. But I'm, I'm definitely happy with this process.